Hi guys, just getting set up here. Getting set up. during this time when you've been at home. Give a wave if you've been stretching at all. Okay, some stretchers out there. Has anyone been stretching like once a week? After every workout? It's pretty good. Yeah, so we are going to um, share this on stories. So you'll be able to see this again. Yeah. It's a nice routine to do before bed um, for a good night's rest. So it's nice to see. How many of you guys stretch before or after bed? <laughs> like when you first wake up, that's a nice time to stretch too. It's sort of like a natural thing to like wake up and, and stretch, you know? All right, I'll give it one more minute. Cool. All right. Let me see. I know. I know. Stretching is hard to work into your routine. Like, you've only got so much time in your day, right? But um, hopefully this will help facilitate that um, once you know a couple stretches to do. And then, you know, hopefully now we have a little bit more time, a little bit less excuse not to stretch as much, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this happiness onesie's the best, right? All right guys, I'm gonna get started. So I am Vanessa, I'm one of the co-founders of Stretched. Um, Stretched is an assisted stretching space located in New York. Um, Where flagship location is here, um, but uh, we also are doing virtual stretches as you can see here. So super happy to be here today with FP Movement. And I'm gonna lead you through a very simple series of stretches to do for better sleep. So as a lot of us know, um, you might be sleeping in a compromised position, um, waking up with cricks, either you know waking up in the middle of the night, which is the worst, um, or you might wake up in the morning and think, you know, my neck hurts, uh, my shoulder hurts. So we'll get a couple of these, these key areas. So the first stretch that I'm gonna start with is for the neck, and this is called the yes stretch. So it's a gentle tucking of the chin towards the chest. I'm gonna use my top hand to assist. So this is the yes stretch. Follow along if you can. You don't need much equipment here. So this is nice for all of the muscles at the back of my neck. And it even gets down into the area between my shoulder blades too, where you might carry a lot of tension. You wanna make sure the shoulders relax down as you tuck the chin down. It's called the yes stretch. So we hold these stretches for about two to three seconds at the end point, one, two, and then I reset to the top. So as you can see, this is movement based. So the idea here is to bring some circulation into the body. So these are great for both a warm up or a cool down from a workout or just before bed too. So the next stretch I'm gonna do for the neck is called the maybe so. And this one, we're gonna turn the head one way, use the other hand to assist again, and then drop the ear towards the armpit. Yeah, so you should feel this all along the side of the neck here, back up and reset. Again, turn, use the top hand to assist, and drop the ear down towards the shoulder. Nice, and back. So the nice thing about stretching for a good night's rest is that it actually helps relax the body too. So even just this routine, this gentle 
movement of the body helps tell the nervous system it's time to relax this feels good nice so normally we do up to 10 reps on each side but today i'm just going to do a couple for you i'm going to switch over to the other side so i'm turning my head over to one side using this hand to gently assist and again this ear is dropping towards my shoulder and back and reset turn and assist so you should feel this along the side of the neck maybe even down into the lats just a little bit nice and this top hand is just really gently assisting it's really not much it's not yanking it down nice and easy so a lot of people complain about pain in their neck when they wake up in the morning it could be you know your pillow or just the position that you're sleeping in but also just doing these stretches before bed can help reduce that as well so i'm going to move on to um, my shoulder area so i don't know about you guys if you sleep on your back or on the side they say sleep on your back is supposed to be better for you but i'm a side sleeper so a lot of the times i have cramps in my shoulder so i'm going to show you the scarecrow stretch and i'm going to gently draw the palm of my hand back as far as i can and then draw it all the way down so back behind me, like I'm doing like a backwards high five behind me and then down. So keeping this shoulder nice and low and relaxed and away from the ear. Nice, this is the scarecrow. Again, holding at the end range for two to three seconds and then releasing and resetting. So we're moving in these stretches, still building some circulation here. Never putting stress on the joints at all. This one works well too if you have a wall behind you. You can kind of use it to stabilize a little or you can even do this like if you've got like a door frame behind you or a chair, the back of a chair is nice too. These are scarecrows. So just one more set on this side. Just warming up the rotator cuff of the shoulder and I'll move on to the other side. So you may notice there's a big difference from one side to the other. Um, if you're right-handed or left-handed, you might notice a little bit more tightness on one side or the other. Nice. So again, just this gentle kind of like high five, up and down, this shoulder's relaxed. So this shoulder joint is one of the most mobile joints in the body. So it can lend itself to a lot of areas of like ouch and pain. Um, especially too if you're in a position all day long, like if you're sitting behind a computer screen or looking at your phone a lot, this is a nice thing to do to tell your body again, relax those muscles before bed. Okay, last one here. And that's the scarecrow. All right, I'm gonna move up actually onto my couch here and show you a couple more stretches. So this one here, I'm gonna do lying down. You can do it on a mat, but I have a little more room here to show you. I even have a pillow here, I'm gonna use it, why not? So this one's called the double knee hugger. I'm gonna gently pull my knees in towards my body. So my knees are coming towards my armpits. And what's happening here is I'm warming up my entire low back and even getting down into the hips, the glutes a little bit, and the hamstrings. So this is a nice one if you do have low back pain before you sleep or again we put a lot of pressure on our low back throughout the day so this is a nice one to release everything again i'm just gently tapping my toes down onto the ground and then resetting and then pulling this in and holding for two to three seconds so that's the active part of our stretches but as you can see it's easy to do you can do this even just from bed couch here just a gentle pull in to help relieve the low back nice this is the double knee hugger all right one more here for good measure okay now I'm gonna move into something called smooth walker and I'm gonna warm up the calf muscle here so I'm using a stretching strap if you've got something like this at home, awesome, or if you've just got like a belt or a towel. So this is gonna be for my calf muscle, and I'm gonna gently point the toe and then flex it down. I'm gonna point 
and then flex and feel the stretch in the back of my leg here. This strap is a very gentle assist to help me get a little bit deeper in. So I'm stretching this calf muscle here because a lot of the times I'll wake up in the middle of the night with a little bit of um, like a cramping in my leg or my feet. And this is a nice way, again, we're building circulation to reduce that, to really make sure you get that good night's sleep. You can also change the angle here, so you can come down a little bit too and flex here. Um, but if you do have that flexibility, you can come up a little higher. You'll notice it might be a little bit more intense. Nice. So this is getting into these calf muscles, the belly of the calf behind my leg. One more here. I'm going to switch to the other side. Nice. So again, a gentle pointing and flexing. This leg should stay as straight as possible. This strap is around the ball of my foot here. If you feel any discomfort in your low back, just bend the other knee and that'll help relieve a little bit. So point and flex. Feels really good here for me. I've been doing a lot of running, or at least a lot more for me these days. So um, I've got a little tension worked up there too, or just, you know, from walking around during the day. Although again, doing a little less walking these days, but nice to do before bed. Just kind of work out those kinks. All right, one more of the smooth walker. Nice, and release. Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you is called the forward reacher. So I'm just sitting here on my couch. You could do this on the floor or on your bed even. My legs are a little bit wider than hips distance apart. Knees bent, feet flat onto that ground. And then I'm gonna tuck my chin and then start to reach forward. And reset, come all the way back up. Tuck the chin and reach all the way forward. So this is good for all of the back extensor muscles, those are all the muscles along my spine, even into the hip area. It's just a nice way to relieve some of that tension in the low back, easy to do as you can see from bed or from anywhere. If you're a little bit tighter in your back, you can actually come to the edge of a chair or your bed, knees a little bit wider than hips distance apart, tuck the chin and then round down. So you might, this might feel a little bit better for you. And a nice, gentle stretch for the low back. And all the muscles in the low mid back. One more of these forward reachers, tucking the chin down, reaching, and then restacking the spine all the way back up. So that's a couple stretches for the neck, shoulders, and for the back and even the back of the legs. I'll do one more stretch here, which I really like called the chest opener, interlacing my fingers, placing them behind my head and opening the elbows out nice and wide. Yeah, so again, we get a lot of tension into our chest muscles throughout the day from maybe staring again at your computer screen or your phone all day. This is a nice one to open those muscles up. So that's for your chest muscles, your pectoralis muscles. So I'm just closing my elbows in, rounding, and opening up nice and wide. One more time here. And nice and wide. And you can even get into this a little bit more by reaching your fingers out. So you can't really see my whole wingspan here, but I am just squeezing my shoulder blades together behind me as I'm opening up. So that's the chest opener for these pec muscles here. Closing and opening. Again, if you have a chair with a back behind you, it might be nice to help stabilize. Or if you have a door frame that you can lean against, this helps too. And I can change angles a little bit because the muscles in that area are fan-shaped in nature. So I want to get into all the different parts. So I'm going to like a V-shape here. So really easy to do just from home, from your bed, to make sure you're relieving all that tension from the day. I'm just going up a little bit wider, a little bit narrower. 
into this chest opener. Nice. And one more here. Okay, so that's an easy routine to do uh, to get yourself ready for bed. Again, telling your body that it's time for bed. It's time for these muscles to relax and get a good night's rest. Again, I'm Vanessa with Stretched at Stretch Space in New York. Um, we are gonna be doing a series of stretches like this every Thursday at the same time throughout May. Next week, I'm gonna be focusing on some stretches for better posture, so tune in then. Um, if you have any questions, happy to field them. Let's see, oh yeah, the chest one's good, right? Cool, well, I'm glad this felt good for all of you guys. I think we'll be posting this onto FP Movement Story, so feel free to catch it. Otherwise, I will see you next week, next Thursday at Stretch, and then follow us as well. We have plenty of stretches and routines throughout the week that you can catch for all different parts of the body, for all different activities. Hope you guys get a good night's rest. Um, hope you're ready for bed and sleep tight, and stay safe. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much.